Welcome to Allwear OS, where innovation knows no bounds. Your presence here isn't just an entry, it's an honored journey into the future, where technology needs purpose. Allwear isn't a company, it's a visionary force crafting a better world through advanced AI and immersive simulations. Each pixel pulsates with endless possibilities, a testament to our dedication to pushing the boundaries of what's to come. As you navigate, meet Allos, our pride the world's most advanced AI system, symbolizing our commitment to excellence. The adventure unfolds now in the heart of Allware OS, where the future is not just imagined, it's created. What up, guys? We're back here with another video, a little bit different. Today, we're checking out Cold VR demo, the demo specifically, the demo, guys. Remember, this is all impressions of a demo. Um, but real quick, before we get into about the game, I want to talk about my specs real quick. I'm using my Quest 3, my 3090, 5950X, and I'm using Cable Link, not Virtual Desktop, and I'll go into that later in the video. Um, I'm running at a 90 hertz, 1.1 resolution, and 400 bit rate in the Oculus Diagnostic app um, in the settings. I try to push it to higher resolutions, higher bit rates, and at a 120 hertz, it didn't really work out. But this is a kind of sweet spot. Most games do run at 90 hertz, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, what this game is about. So essentially, you are jumping into this Ready Player One synthwave AI world, uh, and you're supposed to fight off the AI um, artificial uh, AI characters or whatever. There's not too much detail in the game, um, but you're supposed to fight them off essentially, and it gives you super hot vibes, right? It's literally that. It's the opposite of super hot. It's even in the name. It's called Cold VR, where in super hot, you are essentially mo when you stop moving, that's when time slows down, right? Everyone who's played VR usually has played that game. I think 90% of the population in VR has, or even 100%. It's one of those early VR games. Uh, but this one, when you move is when you slow down time. So you can't really stop it. When you stop, it's almost two or three times speed every, everyone else is moving. So you kind of, good luck dodging those bullets. They're just rapid firing at you at that point. So you have to keep moving and you're traversing through the level, dodging, people spawn at different points and different times. Sometimes they'll pop up behind you at random points. You have melee weapons, guns, and everything. So there are some pretty cool melee weapons like the katana, katana lightsaber, and the wolverine uh, lightsaber claws. You'll see them later in the video, they're super dope. Um, but yeah, like what I really, I really enjoyed this game. Um, despite the cons, the pros. I want to. I like to start off with the pros first. Like I said, I love the environment and the vibe that it gives off, and, and the setting it gives you that 80s synthwave vibe. Um, and the music was really, really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I did wish there was a little bit of variety depending on the setting. There is a pirate ship theme. I wish they kind of added a pirate ship twist to the song. That would have been really cool. Um, the, the, the levels are challenging. They do require, it's not that easy. You do have to think a little bit, and that's the, the character that guides you through the game. You, you kind of jump into the computer with a floppy disk was really cool. I like that. Um, and he, he guides you through specific points of the game and tells you what you need to do and how to, how to uh, beat the level. It, it doesn't give you too much detail, it just keeps it very vague. Specifically this one that you're about to see right now, you're supposed to just traverse through the maze and you don't have any weapons. You're supposed to just run through and just find the exit door. I thought that's really cool. Um, it adds a little bit of an eerie, scary vibe, like you're helpless, you're supposed to just keep running and gives you a back rooms kind of vibe. I'm pretty sure a lot of people who watch scary games um, or other gaming YouTubers, Backrooms is, is, is pretty popular. So it kind of gives you that vibe. And these guys have this w scary, weird sound. Um, I don't want to show too much and spoil it for you because I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna download the demo and try it. So this is the pirate ship level I was talking about. This was really, really fun. Um, there are six levels. So this is, this is the last level in the game. Uh, there are a couple downsides so far, but again, a lot of them are optimization issues and it's just a demo. So in this level, I did get stuck on a lot of the objects and meshes in the game. Like I, so I avoided getting too close to them so I don't get stuck and get just killed. Um, a lot of the melee weapons are, all of them are weightless. They feel like a feather when you throw them. And unfortunately, it's not like Super Hot where you throw this ninja knife, ninja star, it doesn't, it doesn't hit them, it just floats away. Um, so there is an issue with that. There's an issue with virtual desktop and the calibration of the headset. Like this, this, the height is off, the centering is off, so I couldn't really use it. Even with the cable link, you'll see here, 
Um, I thought it was an issue on my end, so I went and tested other games to make sure it wasn't me. Um, I tested the Steam VR calibration settings, my Quest 3. It was an issue with the game where you try to grab something off the ground or a flat surface, there is a huge gap between you and the floor in game. Uh, again, there are some optimization issues which could be fixed because number one, it is a demo. Uh, but other than that, it was it was a lot of fun. It was really enjoyable. The demo took me about 35, 30 minutes to beat. Um, again, but that's a lot of tries per level. So I would go ahead and check it out if you guys uh, really enjoy Super Hot or enjoy the mu like music-based games. Um, well, uh, games with really good music, good environment, but it was really enjoyable. I kind of wanted to shed some light on this. Um, I, I don't know how I found out about this game. It's not really talked about right now, um, but there are some other people that are talking about the demo and I kind of wanted to shed light because this reminds me like the nostalgia of the early days of VR and I, and I, I love that. And we are still in the early days of VR. We're kind of in that SNES, N64, Sega era of VR where it's still growing in terms of the gaming space, which is really, really cool to see. Um, and I enjoy games like this. You can jump in, jump out, and it's a lot of fun, guys. So I would go ahead and check it out. The demo is free. Six levels. Go ahead and check it out. Enjoy yourself. Let me know if you guys have played it. Let me know what you think. And please comment below and like the video. Let me know what other videos you guys like to see, guys. Take care and stay in VR.